in a country so rich in wrestling in an auditorium that would be rocking right now had spectators been allowed. And that's what Bienkowski told us last night after a semifinal win. He just kept envisioning, kept hearing the crowd that could have been. And now Poland ready to tangle with Russia for the gold medal. Not even 10 seconds in, a quick warning for the uh, clubbing. So we go back to action. Quite a story for Bienkowski. He was the 2020 Polish national champion. He is wrestling in his ninth European championship. Took eighth a year ago in Rome. Poland in the gray, Russia in the red singlet. Like so many of these Polish wrestlers, you you kind of build a, a tradition or a trademark style of wrestling. Obviously, Poland so strong and Greco-Roman, but when you look at their freestyle wrestlers, the common denominator is they are really tough to score up. Here he loses position in Shakia with pure will and force, drives him out, step out point. Very rarely will you catch Bienkowski out of position. Big strong underhook dug in by the Russian Shakiev. For Shakiev, he's making his first European championship appearance, and here's Bienkowski with the leg. He's working near the edge. He'll try to treetop it. Trying to shelf that leg, works it back casually into the center, has all sorts of room. Boy, look at that torque. He just keeps stretching that leg as high as it can go. Shakiev trying to avoid the trip, cannot. And Bienkowski to the approval of the limited crowd on hand, goes up two to one. I'll tell you what, the Russian showed some uh, flexibility. Bienkowski could not have elevated that leg anymore without tearing it out of its limb. Two to one lead, Poland out in front. Now a low shot by Shakia. Trying that low single, but he has his head smothered right now. Needs to try to improve that. Try to elevate his head into the waterfall position. Right over the top comes Bienkowski. Now Bienkowski in a vulnerable position. He's trying to hang on to that leg. If Shakiev can free up that leg, he's going to get the two, and he does. So Shakiev comes right back at him in a 3-2 lead. Immediately going into a leg lace, and he'll turn him 5-2. Still has that lace. Might not be done. It's almost a reverse type lace. He'll look to turn Bienkowski over. He'll get two more. It's seven to two. And he's putting quite a strain on the Polish wrestler now. Has the leg all turked up. He has Bienkowski in a vulnerable position. I'm not sure he can get the fall with that Turk that he has with the lower half. But boy, that's a lot of pressure on the abs and Bienkowski in not a real comfortable position. One more big momentum surge by Shakiev. And he is going to run out of time. But he certainly sent a statement late. Big finish by Zagir Shakiev. And the native Bienkowski wrestling in front of his home arena with some work to do. He fired the opening salvo. He was able to get the trip and the two. But like so many of these Russians, they take advantage of an opportunity and Shakyev with seven unanswered and a 7-2 lead. Let's see how that midsection is feeling if you're being Kowski. He had a lot of torque for about 30 seconds at the end of the first period. Russia tonight with four finalists. And again, these aren't some of the usual Russian names that they would send out there on a normal continental championship year, meaning a non-Olympic year. Russia showcasing the depth that they have. Shakyev continuing to use his right arm underhook. Now he submarines in. Switches to a double and gets two more, and he is close to ending this early. Up 9-2. 
immediately goes right back to that lace. He'll get one turn. He's up 11-2. Looks like he should have exposure for two. The judge said two. The referee did not. He'll crank that leg back up. There it is. And this should finish it. They'll let it go for the possibility of a fall, but he has the technical superiority wrapped up. Exact same situation that we were in toward the tail end of the period. Shakiev looking for the fall. Biankowski bridging up at least as much as he possibly can. He'll get back to his base and that's it. That's considered a break of move. And it's a technical superiority win and a gold medal for Russia. Zagir Shakiev spoils what Poland plan was a party on a Tuesday night in Warsaw. They wanted a continental title, but Russia, like they have done so many times throughout the years, no matter what country they are in, they spoil that party. Russia with title number one tonight. Zagir Shakiev. Your 65 kilo European champion.